Hello again, Mufindi Hospital Hike fans. Today, we are broadcasting to you from Chicago's historic North Halstead Corridor, historically known as Tiny Bohemia. The name Tiny Bohemia, of course, was graced on the area because Little Bohemia was out in the uh, near western suburbs where many Bohemian immigrants had settled. But Tiny Bohemia was an offshoot in the city where Bohemian youth would come to you know, find themselves in their professional lives and basically start uh, having fun in the city in their youth. So, being a center of Bohemian youth, it was Christian Boys Town. Bohemian youth, boys, Boys Town. And you see the many colors on this edifice represent the different countries of Bohemia. Red for Latvia, orange for Lithuania, yellow for Estonia, green for the Ukraine, blue for Belarus, and purple for Romania. We will now take a brief spin through Boys Town and visit some of the famous Bohemian haunts and landmarks of the area that have sprouted and thrived over the years. Our first stop is Leather Sport. Leather Sport is a lodge and commemorative hall for the Lithuanian national sport of leather sled racing. This has been in business since 1921 and has been thriving even through the Great Depression and World War II era when leather was strictly rationed. Uh, because it was needed for canteen straps for the army. Here we are in front of Cocktail, a local watering hole for hard drinking Estonian men for whom beer isn't enough. Uh, after a hard day's work, they can congregate here to watch a Bears game or a pro wrestling match. Further down Halstead Street, we have Game Art, one of the first general stores on the corridor. Started in 1956 by Lithuanian merchant Julius Gay. Uh, profits have been solid of late and uh, boom in the economy surrounding Elvis and Star Wars figurines. It's really kept this place going. We'll conclude this session with a personal anecdote related to me concerning La Bamba restaurant. One night after a bout of carousing, Ian McBride and Mike Galoon came to La Bamba for a nightcap. They both ordered identical burritos. When they went to pay, Loon paid the standard rate, but Ian was charged an additional $1.50. He said, why are you charging me an additional $1.50? I just got the exact same thing as my friend. To which the clerk replied, but your head, it is so much bigger. 